Hi again! Welcome back to the Nightmare X show. Today we're doing episode 57 of the old 62. We're almost done. I'm Nightmare X's stunt double, uh, fresh boy. I just got out of the shower, so... Yeah, um... Let's get into, uh, this character. Today we're gonna be talking about Flashback. And I know there's a few different versions of Flashback, so we're gonna be talking about the one from Earth-1, uh, the male version. And, um, like, I know there's a girl that went by the name Flashback, and probably in another universe, but, uh, we're not talking about that character today. That character is for another day, uh, you can go read up on her, too, and if you want a Let's Talk About after I finish up the old 62, then I will gladly do that, but someone has to check her out first. I will probably, probably not, I don't know. Um... So let's get into um, character creators. Who made this character? Carla Conway. Is that Jerry or Gary? What would that be? Um, G-E-R-R-Y. Is that Jerry or Gary? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to say Jerry. It's Jerry Conway and Jim Aparo. I don't know any of these names. <laughs> um, his first appearance was in The Brave and the Bold, number 158, in 1980. And apparently that was also his last appearance. That's what the bottom of the character block is saying. But, but if we head over to Related, it says, yeah, one appearance. Uh, a lot of times it's not uh, the same. It doesn't sync up. Um... They'll appear in something like a encyclopedia for uh, villains of, let's say, Batman, and it'll go all counter Wumpus because that's an appearance, but it's not uh, a story. It's not, you know, it's just information, so they don't count it as an appearance half the time. <laughs> and it sucks when you find things like that, so. History. Flashback is the name given to a French criminal whose identity remains unknown. The name is given because he makes use of a gas weapon that f forces the victims to relive the most painful experience from the past. Hmm. As a young kid, Flashback was left orphan after his father was killed while working for an American company. For this reason, he nursed a grudge against every American business in France. And in his adulthood, he set out to prevent any American company from making business in France. His fanatical efforts drew the attention of Wonder Woman and Batman, who stopped Flashback, ending his personal vendetta. So yeah, that's the entire uh, history section. That's it. But if we go to powers and abilities, he was apparently skilled in chemistry. Which makes sense, because otherwise how would he come up with this gas-based weapon? So, if he were to be rebooted... I think he would need a deeper origin and um, some sort of something known to us, like history about him being uh, in the field of science, and that would explain his connection to chemistry. That would be interesting. I'd love to read something like that. Paraphernalia a hallucinogenic gas drug that makes people relive traumatic moments in the victim's life. And it does have a note here that's not the um, standard, oh, this person was erased in the crisis event note. So let's see what that is. The basic concept of the character was first suggested by Carla Conway. So who is Carla Conway? She was employed by DC and then Marvel. Um, what did she do? Job titles writer. Okay, so 
I never heard of her. Um, there was a bit that said first publication and it said unknown, so <laughs> I still don't know like what she did or anything. I'm gonna have to research her. I will research her. Um, but yeah, there's not much else on this character at all. And it sucks because it's a really good idea and I like the sound of it. But there is this picture that they used and it's probably going to be the picture I use because it might be hard to find another picture, although I like using other pictures than what the article uses. Um, I think that's a French word. Con... I don't even know how to pronounce that really, um, but I think that's a French word. And it says, those fools I hired, they were to distract attention from my purpose here. Instead, they have attracted not one of you, but two. And he says some more things in French, and then he says, I must deal with you myself. So that kind of brings me back to um, um, Freedom Force was one of the... 2002 Game of the Year nominees, but it didn't win it, sadly. Um, Freedom Force was a game that I absolutely loved. I played for hours and hours and hours on end, and if I make this channel a gaming channel, I want to um, play it for you guys, because it's just really good. And anyways, um, this takes me back to this one boss called Shadow. And she, um, she brainwashed another character, and he was, like, her lackey. And in the end, the brainwashing drug wore off, and she was like, I guess I have to do this myself. I would do a direct quote, because I can do that for so many points in the game. And I can do voices and everything, but, um, that would actually spoil it. It would spoil the moments. And I want you guys to experience the moment in full. So, when I figure out how to understand recording softwares, I probably won't. I'll probably have to get help with my channel. And I don't think I can do that very soon. <laughs> I don't think I can do that soon at all. But, yeah, um, I want to play Freedom Force for you guys. And the sequel. Because they're, they're good games. And uh, I don't know... Um, it was like a big chunk of my childhood, so. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, I don't know what else to say about this character. Uh, it's probably gonna be just me rambling anyways. Oh, uh, sorry about yesterday. I had some technical derpiculties. Um, there was a wind storm, and I guess it knocked something out, and I didn't have a network, it seemed like. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know what really happened, but I am sorry about yesterday. That did suck. Uh, if I navigate away from this page, the video is going to stop recording, so I don't want to do that, but I don't have a lot of time to save the picture, his picture, and then upload the video. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to do that because I'm going grocery shopping here soon. Um, it's already 1:30. Yes, I'm posting this like I'm I'm making this like two hours before I have to post it. But yeah, um, sadly I really don't have anything more on that character. I wish I did, and I hope to uh, fix. Um, his sort of no uh, history thing. I hope to find more information for you guys and maybe talk about him on a podcast because I'm going to start doing that after we wrap up the old 62. I'm going to start doing podcasts on maybe SoundCloud, maybe just Twitch. I don't know where I'm going to do it. But um, wherever I end up doing it, I hope to also record the event and put that on my YouTube. So, yeah. I hope. 
I don't know. I hope. It's going to be rough. It's going to be a rough transition. So, um, I will see you guys, um, tomorrow, hopefully. And who do we have tomorrow? Yeah, we're not holding our breath, but who do we have tomorrow? Hmm. Well, it's another Superman-like character, and he used to work alone. We're going to talk about the version of him that works alone. And now he works with a team. But he is a bad guy, so uh, that narrows it down almost too much. Um, try to guess who I'm talking about in the comics. That'll actually be funny. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, have at that. So, um, I'll see you then, and peace.